Welcome to the NUMA programming on RHEL 6 webinar. My name is George Hacker and I'm a curriculum manager for Red Hat Training and I will be your presenter. In this five video series we will introduce you to NUMA programming and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Part 1 is a general introduction to NUMA. Specifically we'll define some key NUMA concepts and terms. You will be introduced to the command line interface utilities that support NUMA operation. We will also briefly discuss the system calls that support NUMA. In part two, we'll show you how to get started using the LibNuma library. Part three will introduce you to the bitmask operations that are required to use some LibNuma functions. In part four, we'll look at the functions that manage and query NUMA policy operations. We will also introduce you to the functions that are used to allocate and free memory with NUMA considerations. And finally, in part five, we'll look at miscellaneous NUMA management functions and error handling in the LibNuma library. So let's get started. First, what is NUMA? On older x86 systems, all memory is equally accessible by all CPUs. Access times for all memory addresses are the same, no matter which CPU is performing the operation. This memory architecture is called Uniform Memory Access, or UMA. This is no longer the case with more recent x86 processors. On non-uniform memory access, or NUMA, systems, system memory is divided into zones, also called nodes, which are connected to particular CPUs or sockets. Accessing memory that is local to the CPU is faster than accessing memory that is connected to a remote CPU on that system. NUMA supports four types of memory allocation policies. The memory allocation policy defines how memory will be allocated from the different nodes in a system. The default NUMA memory allocation policy is the local policy. When a process requests memory, the memory is allocated from the node of the CPU running the process when the local policy is in effect. The bound NUMA allocation policy allocates memory from specific nodes that have been specified by a node mask. The memory is allocated from the lowest numbered node then is allocated from higher numbered nodes. The interleave policy allocates memory pages across the nodes that have been specified by a node mask. The pages are allocated in a round robin manner. Finally, the preferred policy allocates memory from a single preferred memory node. If memory is unavailable, this policy allows memory to be allocated from other nodes. This graph displays memory allocation performance and compares the performance of RHEL 6 without NUMA in blue with RHEL 6 with NUMA support in red. This graph also compares how the two memory allocation architectures scale when more processors are added. NUMA performance benefit increases as more CPUs are added. The primary utility for managing NUMA from the command line is NUMA control. It is provided by the NUMA control package, so use yum to install it if it is not available on your system. NUMA control can be used to launch a command with a specified NUMA allocation policy, or it can set the policy of a file that maps to shared memory. The hardware option displays the list of nodes on the current hardware. Total memory size, free memory, and CPUs are displayed for each memory node. The interleave, preferred, and local alloc options set the allocation policy for the newly created process to the interleave, preferred, or local NUMA policies respectively. The CPU bind and mem bind options implement the bound NUMA allocation policy. This use of NUMA control restricts execution of a program to a specific list of CPUs and memory is allocated from the specified list of nodes. The file option is used with a tempfs shared memory file. It can be used with any of the four policy options to determine how the shared memory will be allocated. The NUMA allocation policy for a process is inherited by the child processes that it creates, so NUMA control show displays the NUMA allocation policy inherited from the shell. The NUMA stat command displays counters that indicate how well memory is being allocated for each node. Each tick of a counter equates to one page of memory being allocated. What do the counters mean? NUMA hit is the number of allocations intended for a node that succeeded. NUMA miss shows how often an allocation was intended for a node but was allocated somewhere else due to low memory. 
Local node is incremented when a process running on a node allocated memory on the same node. Other node is incremented when a process running on another node allocates memory on that node. The Sys Devices System node meminfo files provide information about the current state of memory nodes. CPU sets can also be used to assign processes and their children a specific CPU and memory node affinity. The Linux kernel provides system calls that are relevant to NUMA operation. There are four system calls that manage the NUMA memory policy and control CPU affinity. Three other system calls immediately manipulate regions of a process's memory. These system calls aren't typically called directly in programs. Instead, use the functions provided by the libNUMA library, a library designed for managing NUMA from user space programs, which is the topic of the next video in this series. So in part one, we introduced NUMA concepts and terminology. We also looked at the NUMA control utility and some of its most useful options. In part two, we will introduce you to the libNUMA library. You will get started writing programs which use the libNUMA library. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in part two.